So today's lesson is what causes the moon's phases. You see, the moon, like the earth, reflects light. The sun is a source of light. However, the earth does have some source of light. If you're up in space and you see lightning on earth, that'll cause light. If you see a forest fire, that'll cause light. You know, even if you see the city light, sometimes that causes light. But the moon has no light of its own. But we look up in the sky, what do we see? Stars. We see stars. And you see the moon, what do you see? White. That light you're seeing on the moon is actually coming from the sun, 92 million miles bouncing off of the moon and coming back 237,000 miles to the earth. So tonight, when you go home, look up in the sky around nine o'clock, you're gonna see the moon and it's gonna have a certain shadow and a certain shape to it. And the light you're seeing, like a moonbeam, is actually coming from the sun. It's going from the sun, hitting the moon, bouncing back to your eyes. And so the moon basically also rotates and revolves around the earth. And it takes it 29, a little bit past 29 and a third day to go around the earth. Most people don't understand this, that the moon also rotates. It rotates one time in 29 and a half days. So if I'm the earth, as I am rotating, the moon is rotating and I always see the same side of the moon. We always see the same side of the moon. As a matter of fact, this is the side we see. We didn't even know what the back side of the moon looked like until we sent Apollo and other earlier Mariner missions around to take photographs of the moon. And when they got there, they saw all these craters from a shooting gallery of meteoroids hitting the moon. Now, not too many have hit this side, because guess what they have to hit before they hit the moon on this side? They have to hit the Earth. So the Earth protects this side of the moon. Oh, some have got through. So the moon is so cool. I want you guys to learn more about this and do research on it. For example, the Apollo program, 12 people, all American astronauts have landed on the moon at six different sites and walked around. Pretty amazing stuff. Now, the moon revolves around the Earth and it also rotates. In fact, I might try this model right here. Here's another moon, so here's our, my moon. I need a volunteer as the Earth. Okay, come here, please. <laughs> so, you're gonna be the Earth, right? So the Earth rotates, show me rotation. Oh, very good, rotate the other way. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Now, not only is the Earth rotating, keep going. Good night, good morning, good night, good morning, slow down. <laughs> Now, I'm the sun, so well, this is going to be hard to do. We'll need another helper. Would you come here, please? You're going to be the moon. Hold this. You're going to take the moon and show me the moon going around her. Go the other way. <laughs> there you go. Keep going around her. So, so the earth is rotating, and the moon is rotating and revolving. Stop. You're getting dizzy. You're making me dizzy. Now, I'm going to be the sun. So now, you have to rotate and revolve around me. Stay with the moon. <laughs> Start rotating, rotate too. Slow down, Earth. Rotate, you're revolving. Rotate, rotate and revolve. That means you do both. There we go. Come on, Moon. You gotta... <laughs> oh, we just had a crash. So the Earth is revolving and rotating and the Moon is... Okay, stop before we all get dizzy. I would say give them a round of applause, but in space there's no sound. Okay, sorry. All right, so the Moon. The Moon revolves and rotates. And because of its position, we look at a different phase every time. So here is a model of the moon. Now, that looks like a full moon, right? So as I rotate this around, you're going to see it changes wherever you're standing. You might see a quarter moon, a crescent. You might see no moon. That's called a new moon. Are you seeing different different? No moon. All of these eight phases have a different name. And we're going to do that today. Another way to learn about the changes of the phases of the moon is I made this little flip book. And I don't even see it change. But it's pretty easy to make. I just made a bunch of these. And that's another way to look at the phases. 
And probably my the best way is to go out at night, look at the moon, go back the next day, look at the moon. Now if it's cloudy, that's a problem. So finally, we're gonna make our own model. We're gonna make something like this. We're gonna cut some little windows in here. We're gonna make this model around. We're gonna tape it together with a roof. We're gonna hang a ping pong ball and shine a light in each window to see if we can see our own phases of the moon. You wanna try that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. let's get busy. So you guys have been drawing your different phases that look like this. Doing a good job on this. Nice. We just finished our moon model. And what does it look like on the inside? Show me the inside. Turn it over. Okay, there's your ping pong ball. So you're going to shine a light. Go ahead and shine a, Turn the lights on, everybody. Let's see what we can see. Shine a light on there. Let me see if I can actually see inside here. Alyssa, and see what yours looks like. Look there, look there. Nice. I see that. And that looks just like a crescent. Very cool. So when you look at these, you need a partner. And you can shine the light on them. And you can see the different phases of the moon. Good job, guys. This is revolution. And so now we see that the hula hoop is revolving around this creature's neck. <laughs> now show me rotation and revolution. Oh my goodness, she is good. She is rotating, she's revolving, and we had a cosmic mishap. Give her a round of applause. <laughs>